Hello folks and welcome back to Bite Spring. Here we are, we've got the Sally here. And what we're just gonna do is start off the episode is cleaning up the manure from these cows. Cause yeah, these are some filthy cows and they produce a ton of manure. There we go. What's that camera angle? <laughs> there we go, that's better. Yeah, just gonna clear a lot of this so then we can have space for more new spawn. Especially when we skip into May, because I think we will be going to May in this episode because what I want to look at today is the preventive spraying of our crop snap. Because I know from what I can gather is if you're playing normally, you plant the crop and if you spray it before the weeds germinate, you don't get a penalty. I was wondering if that works with precision farming as well. Because in the last episode when we spray the soybean fields, yeah, it's soybeans. We was using no fur not more fertilizer, no fertilizer. But then we was having a change in texture on the ground, so yeah, obviously I could just skip ahead and not save and loop back in, but I thought we can have a look at this together. So that's the last of the manure picked up. And actually, I didn't realize about the saddie is, like, if you go in, into the cat app, it actually shows you how much you've got. So, 61,873.0 litres. And that matches what we've got, so... Yeah, I'm trying to refer to using the mirrors. Actually, what is that camera? I have not seen that camera angle before, it's like... And we're benched. That must be one very strong jet washer. Yeah, I can... Must be like a reversing camera. Oh well, well something different, something new. So yeah, what I'm just going to do is put the manure in here, and I think we'll sell the manure and all that stuff in the winter and get a bit more money, so... Yeah, just over a hundred thousand leaves at the moment. Four hundred twelve thousand leaves of Surrey. And uh, for our cows, we've got another a hundred and fifty thousand liters. Plus thirty nine thousand liters in this pit here. Or or dealing together or not. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to remember if they're together or not. But yeah, we'll leave those there. So yeah, in between episodes, I've gone and done finished the planting of our crops. So yeah, we've got sugar beet planted here. I went with soybeans on 144 just because the nitrogen was at zero. Fair as we could have done actually sugar beet in there, but oh well. And yeah, 143 we've done corn. And to recap in last episode, we've done soybeans in this mega field, sunflower in this mega field, and this you've done corn on this little big field. And this little semi mega field, little big field, and these two small, normal size fields on top. I do want a more sugar bean at, and there's only two options. There's 14, which you've got a contract on. That's got 15 and 16 on top. 16 is oats. And then we can go with 160, plot 97. That may be a good feel for us. Obviously, we haven't done any demolition in that because that may affect our environment score. Actually, what's this plot size difference? That is 1.73 hectares, and that is pretty much the same 1.67. So, we may go with 160, depending on how we stand towards the harvesting time because we've got a lot of crops to do. Because, yeah, if we look at our crop window, our corn, sunflower and soybeans is all going to be ready at the same time. Our sugar beet, <coughs> that's going to be ready around October, maybe into November. Yeah, but yeah, let's just notice you can go into December to harvest, so. But yeah, I think October that's going to be ready, so not too bad. And yeah, I can know that we did that in the second to last episode 
So that's going to be ready in July. So, yeah, we've got a few things to do. Obviously, we've still got the rolling to do on these fields, so we need to get cracking on that. However, I want to get these fields sprayed, so... Obviously, we know this field's got no weeds now. Alright, let's actually have a look here. Yeah, needs to roll in. Ah, same weeds are growing. Is that everywhere? Apparently, still same weeds are growing, so... Maybe we don't get that preventive application sorted. Since we haven't actually put any weed down. But why would it change the texture of the ground? Because yeah, if we go into construction mode or drone mode. Like, if we go to here, you can see it's all very patchy. Like, the light stuff is what apparently has been recognised. And dark stuff, not so much. So... Yeah, I'm not too sure. You're going to the dark stuff, needs to weed in. And yeah, still saying needs to weed in. But yeah, also I think we need to look at our pHs because apparently has to be going around, apparently there's some hasn't been fully applied. Which doesn't make sense to me, but I'm guessing we can grab the line and see if we can put an application down, but I very much doubt we can. Especially with crops in the ground and growing. So I guarantee if we go into the potato fields, they're already germinating and growing, so we can put an application down. So yeah, PA just reaches all perfect. But was there a spot that said it wasn't perfect? Yeah, I'm not sure of... Yeah, because everything looks perfect to us. Getting all the good reading, so... Maybe it was just a glitch in the system or something, I'm not sure. So if we go over here into our... No, sunflower, sunflower field. I almost said soybeans. And we fit that. But yeah, let's go and have a look. Yep, perfect application rate. So I made sure we did everything properly in that, so... Yeah, I'm guessing we got everything correct. Is that right? Something else would have popped up by now saying ain't perfect in that, or it's over, or it's under. But no, we're spot on, so... Hopefully with all this, what we can do is get a perfect environmental score. That'll be the aim of it. If we can, really. If not, oh well. But yeah, I want to get that environmental score because we can get bonuses from these, so... But yeah, what I'm going to do is quickly grab the herbicide sprayer, come to here. Because yeah, we've got weeds growing, right? Yeah, weeds growing, so let's go and have a little look here, shall we? So, with the sprayer, get that expanded, and yeah, let's just see if we get like, a change in textures in the ground for when we start the application. And yes, we're getting a change in texture colours, but if you look at the bottom right, there's no application whatsoever going down. And again, we're hitting patches of spots of it's not being put down, so... Is that a bug with precision farming, or what? Or are we putting down herbicide, technically? But yeah, even here. We've got a dark texture where we haven't put anything down, and a light texture. Ah, it says, no weeds. Ah, oh, wait a minute, oh, now the same weeds are grown here. Yeah, sunflower weeds are growing. Let's go cross a bit. And we're still getting weeds are growing, so... 
I don't know, scoot underneath, or, or scoot over, and fly a million miles. So yeah, that is... I'll be amusing me. But, yeah, we're getting... Yeah, it's like over there. Spraying this bit here. And this we've got to put the spraying down before the seeding. Ah, I wonder, so... I think... Oh, is there small cheap fields we can have? 178's looking a good one. But yeah, I just want to look for a small plot of land. Or do we use any of our own fields? Um, not really, because I don't want to ruin everything. But yeah, sure, there's got to be... Ah, what about 34? It's got to be expensive, 74 grand. So yeah, we've got this grass field here, so... Apparently it needs, needs some plowing. Or is that just like the periphery thing? Let's have a look. Yeah, it's just the periphery. I'm not going to be worried about that. So... Alright, weeds, if we have a look. Yep, no weeds. We've done spraying of where we was weeds previously. Obviously that's when it's germinated. And also that's when it's germinated as well actually, so s screw that bit there. But yeah, so what I'm gonna do is get a cultivator. Ah, I used for a cultivator that we haven't used for ages, so yeah, let's go do that. So let's cultivate the field, seed it, no, cultivate, then spray it, and then put a crop in. And then, yeah, we'll do a little comparison of is there a difference in between the two of do you apply these before or after application of your crop? Because you've got to remember, we're direct drilling into the ground. That's good for the soil, that's good for environments. It recommends storing drilling, but if this is going to cause issues with the weeds, then maybe we need to shallow cultivate the fields or something. So yeah, let's do a little time lapse here. I've getting everything done. Let's get the sunflower field sprayed. Get this other field seeded in there. Or we'll cultivate and all that whatever. And yeah, let's compare and contrast between the two. Let's go this way.
So, right, we're taking a little quick diversion here. I've saved before I skipped ahead, because I just want to see now we're having to do everything in the episodes. And yeah, to see if it works, and it does not work. Unlike with like normal base game with without precision farming. We got weeds, so if we go over here and look at our weeds, forget about rolling. So all the preventive spraying we did on this field and on these fields over here, absolutely butt kiss. Nothing. Nada. So yeah, we've got weeds growing on where it used to be fields. Of course, where we ploughed. Obviously, when you plough, you get no obviously weeds, which makes sense. So yeah, so that was a waste of time. So yeah, let's go back into our schedule program and go from there. So we've are back to our normal schedule programming. I've done a few things, repaired some of our equipment. I've gone ahead at least a third roller, because we've already got two out of the motor roller and the field roller. So what I'm going to do is, I've done just the outsides up here. And that is for a very reason, because when we did the time lapse in the last episode of the spraying or the mulching, whatever it was, constantly the worker kept on going into the water. Thankfully this time we didn't have to use a wheel loader or whatever to recover this, so I was able to drive it out thanks to the weight on the back of the mold shirt. But anyway, so we need to get the rolling underway, because all of our fields need to be rolled, so that's underway. That one we're going to use in a sec on our own. And also we get a roller on this field here, so two mega fields. We're going to keep on rolling. And then with the third roller, since we're down here by the store, I think we'll do these three, no, four fields by the store. My apologies. So, yeah. 142, 143, 144, and 154. So, I think that's the best way to go about it. I can even maybe get a worker on this, but what's the angle like? see how it goes. So yeah, I've gone and mulch everything. Of course there's a few bits that we couldn't get in, but yeah, that's not too much of an issue, but so yeah, if I get a worker on the way, what angle are they going to take? Alright, they're going to go that way. You know what? That's fine. It's at least a fourth roller. This is going to be very complicated to work with, but especially with the workers now. But I think it will be fine. We need workers to roll in. And that's it. We've got the capital at the moment. We've got the money. So I'm not too worried about... I'm sure what's a little wasp here. Yeah, I'm not too worried about wasting money on little bits of workers that doesn't get too far. Or needs constant micromanagement. Because, simply put, whatever they do, we don't have to do ourselves. I thought we'd get the old Deutz far out. The OG tractor of the farm. Well, the OG out of all the other tractors we've got. So the worker's doing 142. I think we should go ahead and start doing 143. And 143 and 144 looks like a field of work can do. However, they're not overly massive, so they're going to be finished quite quickly, so. I thought heck it, we'll just do it ourselves. And even maybe we could have got away with the 24 meter roller, but I don't want to push my luck in that. Yeah, I don't think I want to push my luck with that, so let's just go ahead and start rolling. And good, we can tell the difference in the textures in the ground, so it's going to be easy to keep track of in the time lapse or whatever. Oh, I'm just going about. Yeah, God. Doing 40 miles an hour. That is fast. And unlike the drug drain and all that, I will try to get all the edges and that. Any bits we've missed. Like, little bits like that on there we've missed. I'm not too worried about those. As long as, like, 99.9% .9 of the field is rolled, then you know what? 
I'm happy with that, as you. So I live our first pylon of the afternoon. I think it's our first. I could be wrong on that part, but... So yeah, anyways. You know what's going to happen now. We'll do a time lapse. Get everything done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done. Uh, around 4 o'clock, I think. Just after quarter past four, sun is starting to set on this crisp April day. And yeah, most of the rolling is actually almost done. Having three workers, I think, got going at the moment. Yeah, we've got a worker on one oh five one oh six. Got a worker on one sword fields and they're gonna struggle, but at the end of the day. Whatever work they can do is less work for us to do so. And we're almost done on the Sunflower Mega Field at the bottom there. And as we're just finishing off, just ask one more pass left to do here. And yeah, I definitely do not regret my choices whatsoever here. It's a bit complicated it was with transport workers here and there, corrected them, doing some headlands. And despite doing the heading on the soybean fields by the main farm, Worker still drove into the bloody river. Why? I do not know, but... Oh god, you gotta love these workers at times. You gotta love them, it's just like Marmite, you either love them or hate them. Actually no, it's more like a marriage, it's a love-hate thing. Boot love or hate workers, it's a bit of both. Comes with the territory, as one may put it. But 
yeah, so if we have a look, I'm impressed. So, all these fields are rolled. Soybean field is rolled. Got a little bit left up here to do. Workers cracking up with that. And I think we'll come down here and help the worker down here. It is a little kabota. And it is struggling on certain areas where it's a bit lumpy and bumpy. So I think we'll give him a little hand to help out. So can we do a U-turn here? We can. And we will. Just requires not so much a awesome powers, but uh, close enough. That's one worker's up there. I'm not too worried about a first stop. So come on. Do we cut down the hedgerow? So I will. And I'll just quickly replace it so no one knows that I had to cut down the hedgerow. There we go. There we go. Oh, I'm actually stuck. Come on. For yourself. There we go. But yeah, I'll say in the Kabuta is the lowest horsepower tractor in this fleet, I think, right? I think, yeah, it's the lowest horsepower, so. Yeah, 200 horsepower, but saying that, small and mighty is. It's definitely helped us out a lot. There we go. So yeah, I think that's where I'm going to leave it today. So next time, get the rolling finished off. That shouldn't take us too long. Probably respond to the quick time lapse. If I didn't do it in between episodes. Is that record stopped? No, it's on its way. And also, we'll properly do the fer not fertilizer work, herbicide work. Off eradicate the weeds the proper way with precision farming. But, anyways, as always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to down below. If you want to share us please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to our channel yet, then please consider. But, for a to do, hope you're going to stay. But for now, it's me from our Evelyn stream, and I'll see you all very soon.